So, you know, you all know I'm a car guy. I'm here because the auto show uh, and the vehicles here give me so many reasons to be optimistic about the future, and I really mean it. Just looking at them and driving them, they just give me a sense of optimism, although I like the speed, too. And, and for most of the last century, we led the world in a by significant margin. And because we invested in our people, we invested in ourselves, and something went wrong along the way here. Something went wrong. We risked losing the edge as a nation, and China and the rest of the world are catching up. We used to invest almost 2 percent of our entire GDP in research and development, now 0.7 percent. And uh, the rest of the world's catching. But not anymore. Now we're choosing to build a better America. An America that's confronting the climate crisis with America's workers leading the way. And we're rebuilding an economy, a clean energy economy, and we're doing it from the bottom up and the middle out. I'm so tired of trickle down, I can't stand it. And by the way, remember, when the middle class grows, the middle class grows, everybody does well. The poor have a way up, and the wealthy do very well. And by the way, don't forget, middle class built America, and unions built the middle class. That's a fact. And nowhere is that more evident than right here in Michigan, where you're building the future of the electric vehicle. We're bringing back U.S. manufacturing jobs, 680,000 jobs just since I took office. Good-paying jobs, union jobs, middle-class jobs, jobs that give you a sense of dignity and a fair shot. My dad used to say, all I want is just a little bit of breathing room. Just the family should have just a little bit of breathing room and be treated with dignity. I used to be, uh, used to be that to buy an electric car, you had to make all sorts of compromises, but not now. Thanks to American ingenuity, American engineers, American auto workers, uh, it's all changing. Today, if you want an electric vehicle with a long range, you can buy one made in America. If you want one that charges quickly, buy American. If you want one that's fast in the quarter mile, buy American. So, by the way, while we're here in Detroit, building in America, we're making it easier for folks at home to buy it here in America. Companies have announced new investments of more than $36 billion in electric vehicles and $48 billion in battery manufacturing here in the U.S. And we're just getting started. I signed into law the Inflation Reduction Act. It gives tax credits to new electric vehicles, fuel cell vehicles made in America. And for the first time, you get a tax credit if you buy a used electric vehicle. That's all coming. And part of the infrastructure law, we're investing $7.5 billion to build electric vehicle charging stations all across America. So today, I'm pleased to announce we're approving funding for the first 35 states, including Michigan, to build their own electric charging infrastructure throughout their state. And you all are going to be part part of a network of 500,000 charging stations. <clears throat> 500,000 throughout the country installed by the IBEW. Boy, I owe a special thanks to for the last election.